Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Look at how beautiful this dish is. The aroma, the fragrance that's coming out from this dish is fantastic. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today we'll be cooking Thai style clay pot glass vermicelli with prawns or in Thai they call it Gung Ok Wen Sen. So let's start cooking. First we start off with making the sauce and to marinate the glass noodles or glass vermicelli as well as the prawns. We have 300 milliliters of water inside here. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of chicken stock powder, one teaspoon of sugar. If you don't want to use chicken stock powder, it's fine too, but this will make it more flavorful. So I'm going to add this in. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. You can use soy sauce if you don't have fish sauce. Three tablespoons of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of dark soy sauce so that the noodles will be very nice, have a very nice dark hue. As well as one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. Mix them all up together. Make sure you dissolve the sugar inside here. Once this is done, we will pour this over the glass vermicelli as well as the prawns. I have with me over here 300 grams of prawns. You can use any prawns you like. I've cut a slip behind like this and taken out the veins. This is 150 grams of glass noodle or glass vermicelli. You soak them for 10 to 15 minutes until they are soft and limp like this. And we are going to pour the sauce over this. So you pour the sauce over the glass vermicelli as well as the prawns. You, I'm going to marinate them for about 10 to 15 minutes to let them have the goodness so they'll be very flavorful when you fry them. Do mix them up a little bit so that all the glass noodle will have a feel of this beautiful sauce that we are having here. After 5 minutes, I will do a turn again. So once you have done this, we will fry this in a clay pot. Heat up a clay pot if you have one. If not, you can use a normal pan or wok. Once the wok is hot, add in about 2 tablespoons of oil. We are going to pan fry the prawns now. So I've taken the prawns out from the marinade and drained them as much as you could. This might splatter a little bit so it will be useful if you use a long chopstick to handle this or a long tongs like what I'm using now. So we are going to gently put the prawns in. Be careful that it might splatter a little bit. We don't have to cook this until it's really really 100% cooked. We just want to make it about 80% done. As long as turn rate on both sides is done, be careful, this might splatter a little bit. If you are deep frying prawns, it's best if you could snip out the ice because the ice contains a lot of liquid and it might splatter very badly. We just need to put this in. We just want them to turn red on both sides. There are two reasons why I'm doing this. One is, of course, I want the oil to be infused with this beautiful prawn flavor. Secondly, I want them to be cooked evenly. So that's why I'm doing this first. Look at how beautiful this is. So once they have turned orange from both sides, like what you see over here, you will just take them out. The oil smells really, really fantastically good right now. Just take them out and leave them aside. And we are going to fry some of the aromatics we will be using for this dish. Using the same oil, I've sliced up 40 grams of ginger. You can use young ginger or old ginger, doesn't really matter. Smells really, really, really good. One whole bulb of garlic, slightly smashed like this. Put them all in. Four roots of cilantro, slightly bruised. Put them in also. Smells really, really, really nice right now. I'm going to add in half a tablespoon of white pepper, grounded white pepper, as well as half a tablespoon of grounded black pepper. If you don't want your dish to be too peppery in taste, you can reduce the amount of the pepper used, but I love it this, this way. Whoa, you, can, you can't believe the aroma that I'm experiencing right now. 
really, really, really nice. Once you can smell this beautiful, beautiful fragrance, it's time to put in the vermicelli. Don't pour everything in. Take out the vermicelli and just pour half the amount of the liquid first. The reason I'm using only half the amount of uh, liquid over here first is I don't want to overcook the noodles and make them too soft. Wow. The fragrance is fantastic. I'm just going to put the lid back on and let this cook for one minute or so. One minute is up. Let's have a look. Smells really great. I'm just going to fry them around a little bit to absorb all the goodness as well as to dislodge any of the vermicelli that's sticking on the clay pot. We're going to put the prawns in now. You can add a little bit more of the liquid. Just a little bit of the liquid will be fine. About half of half. Okay. We just want to slightly steam the prawns now. I've cut up one stalk of spring onions as well as some of the parsley leaf. I'm just going to throw them everything in. We're just going to put the cover back on for another one to two minutes. One minute is up. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Smells really fantastic. Now it's time to serve them. Look at how beautiful this dish is. The aroma, the fragrance that's coming out from this dish is fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our clay pot glass vermicelli with prawns. And I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.